Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sandra and today we are going to be unboxing the Jeans Agenda August subscription. Today is the 6th of August. This box came super late. It actually came the day that I left for my reunion trip. Um, it was my family reunion. It came on Friday, which is still super late. Uh, we usually have been getting this probably like the 15th, 20th of the previous month. And so yeah, it came on the, I think it was the 2nd of August. So I don't know what happened. But it is here and I'm so excited. Uh, Jane and her team have already released their unboxing on their channel. So if you've seen it, great. But if you guys haven't seen this yet and you're my subscribers, I would love if you check it out because it's amazing. The unfortunate thing about it is that they do not have any of these left, but there's still time to sign up for a wait list to subscribe for the next box or for the um, boxes after that. So I get mine in half letter unpunched, but as of like after December, they will no longer come available unpunched. They will only be disc punched because Jane and her team are leading more towards like only like disc only punch. So if you like classic and you're like a happy planner person, this size is perfect because you'll already have all the discs. You'll have all the same size set up. It'll be wonderful. Um, and half letter, um, I'm still thinking about uh, continuing with the half letter disc because I do use it for my, my business planner so we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to take everything out. This does seem to be a rather big box for this month. I'm going to unwrap everything and then we'll start talking. All right everything is unboxed ready to take a look. So I have the tour card here. Um, we'll take a look at this so they get confused. But I'm pretty sure I have everything under control. This is so adorable. Um, this is a sticky note holder. So I currently have one that I've been using from Cloth and Paper. This is a ceramic one. Um, and I've been using it just like this. But as you can see, my supply of sticky notes has exceeded the top limit. So I can use both of them. Or what a better idea was, was to use them standing up like this so that you can go ahead and pick whichever sticky note that you prefer from the pile. So I think I'm going forward, I think I'll probably end up doing that. Um, I really like that idea a lot. But now I have the option of using the ceramic one or using my new wood one, which I love. By the way, it is so cute and it fits perfectly. Um, and I love how it, how it has a little like felt on the bottom. So I'll probably switch that out occasionally or maybe I can have like two separate ones. I'll stick that one in a drawer for other sticky notes that I have. Um, but I do have a lot of sticky notes. And I do actually use them every day, um, especially to jot down quick notes if I'm in a rush and I just put them on my planner or my, sometimes like if it's something I need to deal with in the same day, I put it right on my computer in front of me. And if it's like a reference thing, I put it in my planner on a certain page wherever I need it, or I put it on my inbox tab in my planner. Okay. So we have the thank you card, which says August 2024. I love that it is glossy and I think it looks so pretty. We've got the two little quote cards with a different quote card this month. And this is like a soft, um, I remember the cloth and paper texturized um, cards and that's kind of how it feels like. It says all good things are wild and free by Henry David Thoreau. And then we've got this one here and then uh, phytologist. A passionate scholar of plants and covering the secrets of nature's green tapestry and nurturing a deep connection with the botanical marvels of the world. Cute. Okay, so those are the little quote cards. And then we have some stickers. This was also in the accessory pack. I do kind of like these. Um, again, I've got themes in my planner right now. You actually get quite a few. Like, that's a lot of stickers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Normally, I'd only get one in a subscription box like this, so that's really nice. They are clear. I guess you'd call them, what, a P PET sticker, almost? Um, so I really do appreciate that. I like that there's a lot. I think that if I was to use these in a theme with my planner, I would definitely um, use these with that. Those are really nice. Um, then you have the magnetic paper clip. So a lot of people don't know, but even with an Ollie clip, you can use it as a pen holder. Um, you just have to put it like on a divider or something pretty sturdy. And then 
um, you can slip your pen in there, whether it has like, you know, the side holder like this, or even just like this, sometimes it'll hold, depending on how big it is. Um, so that's cute. And it is in the Nori green cover, the same as the wraps that Jane recently released. It's like this really dark olive green tone, and it's really pretty. Um, I did not get the wrap cover. I was, <laughs> I mean, Jane has a way, a way of trying to convince you to get, like, that you need that item. But um, I'm in a little bit of a budget, so I'm not going to buy that at the current point in time. Um, and I have actually been enjoying my planners, uh, my planner just without a cover on it at all. Um, simply like this. So I've really been enjoying this. Okay, so we also get this friction pen. Um, this one is a 0.5. Again, these are erasable, so it's nice to have another one of these. The other couple I have, I think I've got a pink one and I've got a black one. So now I've got this white one. Okay. Um, we've also got sticky notes that came in the accessories pack. Uh, we get double this time from what she normally gives. So we have extra in there and I like that, I like the top that it matches the desk pad. That's really nice. I'm gonna put those at the back because I like them a lot. Um, we also um, get the little um, page finder. So it's meant to look like it's um, like a piece of like leaf in there with a little piece of tape, but it is just a picture. It's not actually in there, <laughs> but it's a nice idea. I do like that. And it has like a little bit of French handwriting here, which is really pretty. Okay, then next we have the um, half letter notepad. So this is a bound stitched notebook and it's kind of this mint green color. And I was debating what I should use these for because over the last, I guess over the last two years, I've been collecting quite a few of these and I do have the traveler's notebooks for which they were meant to be um, held. So I can put them in there. And I'm just gonna show you guys here. Like I said, I'm slowly building up a collection. And with this, um, like this whole vibe, I really like this brown one again. This was fall last year. And then this lighter colored one was for spring. And I have the books in there, but I don't really use them. Um, and I'm not a huge, I don't use it for journaling or anything, but I mean, I have this pink one. I don't remember uh, which all the um, the boxes, which they came in, but this one's dark red. Then I have the foxtail pine, which I think was from last year, from, from November. This was September, I think, of last year. This was lined. And then this is actually a Cultivate What Matters line notebook. Um, but now I can also put this one in um, and say so we run out of string. So I think I actually doubled, what did I use this one on? I think I doubled a couple up. Oh no, I have four. Okay, yeah, we've got four in there already. <laughs> Running out of room. So I'll put that one in the front cover. But if we continue, I was thinking I could use them for my, my notes. Like when I edit my videos, sometimes I'll make notes on what I'm saying and write down the chapters. So maybe I'll use these notebooks for that because I am starting to get quite a collection of them. And I'm like, hmm, I don't want to have like 10 of these notebooks and not use them. So that's what they might be used for. Okay, so then next we have this weekly scheduled desk pad. And Jane had mentioned that she used it, like you can use it to see your schedule at a glance if you don't want to have that in your planner. Like for myself, oh, and it opens from this front. That's kind of cool. It's the last one I had opened like up and down. Um, I think this is a Jane's agenda one here. It is too. So this is the one that I had from before. So it was a little bit smaller, which is, this was convenient. And I liked having this, so anything going on each day. So I still do have this one, but I was ended up using it for blog, um, blog notes. <laughs> so either of these would work great, but um, she had mentioned that you could use it for pre-planning for your week, um, which I might do. That's actually a really good idea. So maybe that will be used for that. Okay, and then we have these tip-in sheets. There are apparently 30 here, so, and if you don't use them every day, um, they'll last quite a long time. So what they look like, they're called a daily essential tip-in, um, and it's for extra room in case you run out. So it's got your priority of the day, your tasks, grateful, self-care, hydrate, what you've eaten, and that's it. And on the back, it gives you this cute little grid when you can write additional notes. So those always come in handy. 
And then last but not least is the dashboards. So these are what I'm most excited for, to be quite honest with you. We've got a vellum, which again is um, the white ink printed on the vellum. It says, hold on to your vision. And then you have the black cardstock also with white ink, which I love that. I think this looks quite pretty together. Like, I love that a lot. It looks really nice. Okay, and then you have this purple flower, double-sided. And then also the mushrooms, which is so beautiful. I love that one as well. And you can turn it whichever side you like better. You can leave it on that side. And then these two are probably my favorite, favorite dashboards ever. I am in love. I love these so much. Do you see what I'm seeing, you guys? They're beautiful. This one says, from a single clipping, a whole new world unfolds. Each item holds the blueprint of forests. Isn't that pretty? I'm so intrigued by these. That's the word. And then, of course, the covers. So for me, myself, if I punch them for my Franklin, it is very, very difficult because the whole punch from Franklin is not that sturdy, does not punch these. So I would recommend an individual punch. And as for um, if you don't buy them, if you buy them like half ladder unpunched, you would need like the Lavenger heavy duty punch in order to punch these because I, in my experience, no other punch disc punch has worked on these heavy heavy cardstock like not cardstock but they're like heavy duty plastic they're and even the the heavy duty lavender punch it's hard pressed to, to punch these so just be careful um this is meant to be the front so you would simply put it like so and there you go isn't that beautiful and i was debating whether to get the gold the champagne gold discs or just use my silver Silver also looks really nice, but I think the champagne gold would look better. So there's that. <laughs> trying to convince myself that I need champagne gold. But honestly, gold goes with everything. So that might be something in my foreseeable future before they sell out again. So that is it for this Jane's Agenda August subscription. I hope you enjoyed the products. Um, again, check out Jane's Agenda. Um, her products are amazing. And I'm really sad that they'll only be offered in Desk Punch come January. But um, I know as far as the master plan um, inserts that you can purchase for the class, you don't have to have them. But if you do, they will remain unpunched up until the end of the master plan class. So that's good. I think it goes until March or April. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. If you're new, please subscribe, click on the bell button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.